we first recorded the pest around Harare. But within a space of a year, it was countrywide. Almost a, on a daily basis, people were knocking at our doors, saying, no, these are the pests that we are having, and now our trees are dying. So what can you do for us? I grew up in a rural background, so to me, forest was part of uh, my everyday life. First came across eucalyptus when I joined Forest Commission. Eucalyptus is a wonder or a miracle tree. It has so many uses for roofing trusses, timber, poles, extraction of essential oils, and also medicine. And most importantly, you know, for our rural communities where they use it for firewood. So the problem of this is really something that we are so worried about. Currently we are having three pests. Uh, the Thamastocoris peregrinus, Leptosibin vasa, and then the red gum lep. They lead to standard growth and at times mortality is up to 100%, especially at nursery levels. ASTF really supported our work here in fighting with these early invasive pests. Firstly, establishing or strengthening partnerships and uh, training forest commission officers as well as uh, members of the community in identifying the pests as well as controlling them. And one of the most important ways has been the biological control program. We have been benefiting from South Africa, which is actually more advanced in terms of uh, the biological control aspects. So ASTF has facilitated the importation of natural enemies and also the quarantine aspects. So we released the Selectrico Disneseri, which is a parasitoid natural enemy to the Leptosibin vasa. And we are so happy that the samples that we are collecting from the eucalyptus trees around the country are actually showing that the biological control agent is establishing. So, you know, it gives us so much hope. You know, now I can look forward to the future in terms of eucalyptus trees surviving.